Neuralink has suggested that its first real-world application of a chip could grant quadriplegic individuals the capacity to manipulate phones and laptops. The company aims to implant its devices into individuals facing severe spinal cord injuries like tetraplegics and quadriplegics. Elon Musk has also speculated that in the long term, Neuralix chip might enable the merging of human consciousness with artificial intelligence. Despite Musk's assertions regarding the near-term applications of Neuralink, he frequently associates the company with his concerns around artificial intelligence. Musk has expressed his belief that humanity can achieve symbiosis with artificial intelligence through technology developed by Neuralink. Welcome back to Think Consulting. In a January 2024 post on X, formerly Twitter, Elon Musk declared that the first human patient had received a Neuralink brain implant. Musk reported that the patient was recovering well, with early results showing promising neuron spike detection. Musk further revealed in a subsequent post that the initial product was dubbed telepathy, emphasizing that the device enables control of your phone or computer and through them almost any device, just by thinking. Initial users will be those who have lost the use of their limbs. While not the first minuscule device to be implanted in a human brain, Elon Musk's announcement garnered attention in the small community of scientists dedicated to treating disabilities and conditions through direct interaction with the nervous system. Although many scientists commended Neuralink's announcement, they cautiously noted that the company's clinical trial is still in its early stages, with limited publicly available information. Nevertheless, researchers acknowledged that Neuralink has achieved significant progress and is fulfilling the typical startup role of translating knowledge from basic science into a tangible product. It is too early to determine the effectiveness of Neuralink's implant in humans, but the company's announcement represents an exciting development in the form of brain-computer interfaces intended to restore motor control and functions such as people's sense of touch. The first human implant of a brain-computer interface occurred in the late 1990s, led by pioneering neurologist Phil Kennedy. These devices were designed to tap into intact brain circuitry following injury to execute fundamental movements and functions. For instance, when a person thinks about or observes hand movements, similar neurons in the brain become active as if the moment were being performed. According to Jennifer Collinger, an associate professor at the University of Pittsburgh's Department of Physical Medic Medicine and Rehabilitation, in 2004, the first human implant of the Utah array, a minute device, <clears throat> enabled a paralyzed individual to control a computer cursor using neural impulses. This device, invented by Richard Norman at the University of Utah, resembles a small chip with thin spikes that are actually countless tiny electrodes. The array is meant to attach to the skull through a cut in the skin. Now, using the Utah array, Scientists have previously demonstrated how brain-computer interfaces can assist individuals in controlling a robotic arm with their mind, stimulating their own muscles and limbs, operating computers and other external devices, and even interpreting handwriting and speech. Safety will be a primary focus of Neuralink's clinical trials. In the following months, the startup will need to demonstrate that its device can operate without significant and adverse effects. The effective functionality of the implants also remain to be seen. Musk's announcement indicated that the patient is recovering well 
and that the initial results show promising neuron spike detection. While the scientific implications of this statement are unclear without actual data, it is likely an indication according to experts that the electrodes are in place, a nearby neuron has fired and the implant can detect, detect such activity to some extent. Musk also stated that the early clinical trials will aim to assist individuals with paralysis or paraplegia. If successful, the device could potentially address a variety of medical conditions. When Neuralink began seeking trial participants in September, its initial focus was on the individuals with spinal cord diseases, a crucial component of the body's nervous system. In terms of medical requirements, brain-computer interfaces can have a significant impact, particularly for stroke survivors and patients dealing with spinal cord injury, paralysis, and ALS, amyotrophic lateral sclerosis. The consensus among expert, experts in the field is that this advanced technology is at best many decades away from being widely accessible. We appreciate your participation in our discussion on Neuralink's advancements during this session with Think Consulting. As we conclude, we encourage you to contemplate the challenges and opportunities that await us all. Remember to like, subscribe, and share your thoughts on the comment section below. Your engagement is what drives our exploration, and we are excited to bring you more compelling stories. 